In this video, we're going to show you how to take a page item, a display only page item, uh, and easily add in the ability to dynamically show more or less text um, on it in just a few minutes. Please keep in mind this is done at the page item level, level and not the region level. If you're looking to do a collapsible a region level like this, uh, there's actually a component built for it today uh, called Collapsible Region. All right, so to get started, we're going to go into our page, got a blank page here, and we're going to create a new region. Uh, we'll just call it Article. Um, within this region, we are going to um, add a page item. So we'll go ahead down here and grab the display only and drop it in the region body. And we're going to name it article. Okay. Uh, it is going to be a display only type. We're going to remove the label and we're going to go ahead and set the format to HTML and hit save. All right. With this in place, we're going to go over uh, and we're going to create uh, a new page load dynamic action um, that'll essentially seed the article on start on page load. So we'll do seed, seed article as our name. Um, under the true statement, we're going to say seed article. Uh, we're going to set this to set the value. Um, we want it to be a SQL statement, which we'll come back to in a second. We want to make sure it's set to P7 article. We're going to remove the escape characters, but we do want to keep it to fire on initialization. Uh, and then we'll put in our SQL statement here. All right, now if you look at the SQL statement, um, this block of text would actually come from your, your var cartoon or clob column, uh, but we're going to get the substring of the first 100 characters, uh, merge it with dot, dot, dot at the end, um, and then we're going to add in some HTML. In this case, it's going to be an href uh, that on click is going to spawn an event. This event will actually be another dynamic action. Uh, that will let us read more. So let's go ahead and validate this and hit OK. All right, next we're going to go up to the event level here and we're going to create another dynamic action. This dynamic action will give a name, show full text. So it's going to show us all the text. Uh, we want it to fire uh, when custom, so it's going to be a custom dynamic action. The event name is very important, so we're going to call it show full text. That's what we'll reference from our jQuery uh, in our HTML later. Uh, our selection type is going to be JavaScript, and down here we're going to type in document. Now, document simply means that when the jQuery executes, it's going to execute on the entire document itself. Um, we can go down now to our show element, and we'll just call it the same thing, show full text. Uh, we want to have it, once again, set a value. Um, it'll be a SQL query. Um, we want to turn off escape characters. We do not want it to fire on initialization, um, and we want to make sure it's set to uh, our page item. All right, now for a SQL query, we'll go ahead up here. We'll put this in. Now, once again, the key thing to note is the name here for the event trigger um, has to match up uh, with the name uh, that we defined earlier uh, in, in the custom. So this one's going to be show less, less text, actually, which will be the next one we'll build. Show more text was the first one. Um, so I'll go ahead and validate this. What you'll notice in this query as it's validating is that this is the full text. We're not getting the substring. So it's going to essentially show us the entire article. Go ahead and hit save. All right, with the information saved, let's go ahead and run the page so you can see where we are in the process. You can see that our initial query fired on page load. We see a read more button. If we click on the read more button, uh, now we see the full article, but we see read less. But we haven't wired read less, uh, so let's go ahead and wire that now. We're going to come again um, and go over to our dynamic actions. Um, we're going to create a new di custom dynamic action. Uh, we're going to call it show less text. Okay. That's going to be um, our event name as well. We're going to put it, once again, to JavaScript expression and document. We'll go over here to our true action. All right. I'm going to make sure it's set value here. And it's going to be a SQL statement. Turn off the escape characters and fire on initialization and make sure that we're setting the right page item. Uh, for a SQL query, we'll go ahead and put it in. Um, what you'll see here is this is actually a replica of the same query that we ran on page load at the top um, that fired on initialization. So uh, once again, when it fires, it's going to call uh, the event trigger to show all the text. So we'll validate it. Hit OK. 
and save our work. Now, last but not least, we're going to go in and run it one more time. We see the short text with read more, and we can now click read less and kind of cycle back and forth. Um, if you want to follow this example along, there is also in my GitHub, uh, you'll see an article here uh, with step-by-step some pictures you can go through uh, to recreate in your environment.